Yo, what up, street togs, street blogs, street vlog blogs. All right, some uh, turbo thoughts. So, how to start lifting weights at the gym? So, you know, I've been doing some more core power yoga, Cindy, meeting some dudes in the locker room, and it seems that like uh, the reason why a lot of dudes, uh, you know, do yoga or attend classes is because they just kind of don't know what to do, and I think it is a better idea to just go to the gym and start lifting weights. So. The biggest issues is most people just have no idea what to do. So these are just some of my pragmatic tips and thoughts. Advice essentially I wish that somebody gave me when I start. Okay, so first and foremost, the Via Negativa one, what not to do, okay? Do not do the Stairmaster, don't do any cardio machines, don't use any machines. So any sort of machine where you have to sit or you know use those funny Nautilus machines, all of them are bad. Nothing, okay? The only thing you should ever touch include the barbell, right? That big iron long thingy, right? And uh, dumbbells, heavy dumbbells. That's, that's, that's it. Um, typically, most commercial gyms, they go up to usually 100 pound dumbbells. Um, fortunately, the one I go to is uh, up to 150 pounds, so that's fun. Also, some fun thoughts. Any pressing motion or thing exercise you had to do which laying on your back is uh, bad and also like I think if you're starting off I would actually say you don't even have to worry about shoulder presses or military presses anything that you gotta press something above your head I would actually say don't worry about it and instead uh, every day is <laughs> every day is leg day so two two of the most critical lifts I think which are very interesting include what I call the atlas lift or the squat hold um, and the second one is a rack pull. So what is a rack pull? Rack pull is um, essentially you go to the squat rack or the power rack wherever your gym has right and you adjust the safety pins on the side and you put the barbell at a level which is like just slightly lower than when you're locking out and just grab the grab the barbell typically put your middle finger right where it turns smooth the the grip spot and you just grab it and just try to stand up and your range of motion should just be this little but people's like oh you know you need full range of motion and form blah blah so i'm like no you don't um and the the simple heuristic or the thought is increase the weight and the difficulty lower the range of motion so for example it's better to rack pull seven seven hundred pounds this much than to do do a full range of motion for 315 pounds from the floor up okay um and essentially when in doubt about anything just go to the biggest buffest guy at the gym and just ask them for advice say like wow you are so strong and buff can you just give me some tips and a lot of people get intimidated to ask i'm just like dude the the first thing is compliment and say how'd you get so strong and secondly ask for tips and advice also some heuristics do not trust dudes who use weightlifting belts um knee wraps the wrist straps whatever um these 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 not the one Try to, uh, as a heuristic, try to look for the strongest guy doing a squat or deadlift or whatever, or anything at the gym, who doesn't use any additional equipment. The only equipment you need is just chalk, like weightlifting chalk, just one Amazon. Just the easiest one is just get the one that comes in a tube, because it's a little bit less messy. So just go on Amazon, search like weightlifting chalk tube, T-U-B-E. Comes out like toothpaste, and it's when you're doing your maximum lifts. Adopt a mixed grip is one hand's like this and the other hand's like this and so the barbell don't uh, fall out of your hands or when you're lifting up heavy dumbbells just use uh, chalk and I say use chalk liberally it's uh, it's fine um, also another pro tip don't work out with music on because even though it does give you a small pump in the short term long term it ends up uh, becoming more of a crutch so typically whenever I go to the gym, um, the way I warm up is just do some basic yoga stretches like pigeon pose, Hindu push-ups or dive bombers, etc., hip thrusts, whatever. Um, you know, if you're not quite sure how to do the yoga stretches poses, right? Just go on YouTube and just search like basic yoga warm up something. And uh, a big a big tip that I've personally learned is 
like with pigeon poses, you don't have to do it for that long. You don't have to do me a repetition. You just have to do it like once or twice. Uh, your whole warm up shouldn't really take you too long. And I say just don't rush it. Um, do the broomstick stretch, um, the shoulder dislocators with um, a heavy rope. And I would actually say it's a good idea to work out at least once a day, ideally twice a day. Um, you know, once go to the gym, do weightlifting, and then, you know, sign up for the local yoga place, core power, whatever, um, and do yoga in the evenings. So, if you want to become the uber human possible, working out twice a day seems actually ideal. People say, oh, isn't that overtrained? Da -da -da. No, I, I, EK could do it, so, so can you, and I don't take steroids, protein, not even protein powder, creatine, test, nothing like that, and also, I do intermittent fasting, I don't eat breakfast or lunch, only one massive dinner a day. I don't eat any carbs, no sugars, uh, all I eat is beef ribs, beef neck bone, beef liver, beef heart, beef intestines, and uh, the only not meat item I eat are like the power greens, you get them at the Costco, Costco Business Center, the kale, collard greens, etc. Uh, and uh, kimchi, no sugar added. Uh, and just like, you know, eat your meat with mustard, whatever. And uh, you don't need to eat anything before you work out. Just down some black coffee, some espresso, whatever. Uh, no pre-workout powder. They they often add sugar to it or fake sugar things. So pre-workout powder just makes you fat. Just drink espresso. It's like way cheaper and it's much more efficient. Just buy a cheap uh, espresso machine. Just get used Amazon um, open box thingy. Uh, just get a D long heat machine. That's we only paid a hundred bucks for it. And on Amazon, just get Death Wish Coffee, which is stronger. Or the there's a brand called Fresh Roasted Coffee. Get the Ethiopia Yurga Chefi, and you should be good. Just drink, drink a black, <laughs> drink a Jay Z style. Black on black on black. May backs on backs on backs. No types of cream, sugar, dairy, blah blah blah. You don't need none of that. Um, don't eat fruit. Don't eat sugar. Don't eat starch. Don't drink alcohol. You should you should become demigod pretty soon. Um, and when you're lifting, you don't have to go for reps. Just go, you know, one one repetition is fine. And the simple thought is, you just kind of slowly um, build up the weight. So, for example, go to the bar, lift it once, add weight to it, add a plate to each side. Usually, a plate is slang for a 45 pound plate, which is a standardized thing, at least in the states. I think in um, I think abroad, they when we use kilograms, it's like a 20 pound, uh, sorry, 20 kilogram plate or a 25 kilogram plate. So you could just use that as a reference. And just add a plate, do one repetition, add another plate, do another repetition. Just keep adding weight until you cannot lift it, and then scale back a little bit. And just the the, the goal of the gym session is to increase one lift, your PR, which stands for personal record. And it's much more fun, thrilling, interesting. Uh, when you go to the gym, you don't need to do more than one lift. Just just focus on one. And then um, other things you could do is you could go to the gym. You know, there's the heavy dumbbells on the rack. Just see if you can just pick it up and just put it back. You don't have to do full range of motion, whatever. You'll still kind of get the gains. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, working at the gym, it's mostly a via negativa thing. Don't do anything that you're seated, seated, lying on your back, or on a machine, and you should you should be good. Um, for some ideas and thoughts, um, <clears throat> uh, just you know, on my YouTube channel or whatever, just search Eric Kim, squat hold, squat lift, rack pull, whatever. Uh, you should find some good things. Or I think I've even done some like warm up videos. Um, and in terms of tracking yourself and whatever, like. Man, so much of it is like myth busting, right? Is that the reason why I do all this like working out fitness, one rep max powerlifting things is that I want to like, there's so much misinformation or misknowledge or like stuff when it comes to fitness. And I'm just trying to think how far can I take the human body, my human body to the max without using steroids, you know, supplements or anything like that just nothing but old-fashioned beef meat and uh, coffee black coffee and you know 
genetically speaking, I have relatively small hands. Um, you know, I'm pretty tall. I'm like five foot ten and a half, five five eleven, five ten and three quarters. Um, weight wise, I haven't weighed myself in the last I don't know ten years. I think I'm probably around maybe 160, 160 ish, right? And then. You know, I've never used a belt in my life, never used straps, never used none of the silly equipment. Once again, just a mixed grip, chalk is is all you need. And you got the hype, you got to slap yourself in the face. Search Eric Kim Hype Lifting, you'll kind of get a taste of that. So I think actually before you lift something really la um, heavy, it's good to just uh, make a ruckus, allow yourself to be loud and slap yourself in the face. It's actually funny because in modern day life, you're not allowed to be loud, but Practicing and training yourself to get loud is actually a really good thing because it actually gives you the opportunity to build your courage. It gives you the opportunity to to make a fun scene. And I think so much of our human potential is being held back by the fact that we're so afraid to annoy or upset everybody. But everyone's like texting on their phones, listening to music anyway. So just f it, just just kind of go for it. Um, yeah, if you're, you're curious to learn more, just search, just Google like Eric Kim fitness philosophy, Eric Kim weightlifting philosophy, Eric Kim powerlifting philosophy, whatever. Um, take a carte blanche. Do what makes sense at the gym. Have fun. And just fucks with it.